people do have a very weird idea of what animals are. And I think that av the average person, I'm, I'm certainly no expert, but amongst the average person, I have a much better understanding of wildlife because I'm out in the wild yeah. several times a year hunting. It's a different world. And you have to have someone who can take care of the bears. Otherwise, the bears will overrun the city where the humans live. And we need to think about that. And people don't want to because they don't want to shoot Yogi. They don't want to shoot Yogi no. and Boo Boo. They're our friends. This is a teddy bear. I grew up with a bear. You don't know what a bear is. I've seen a bear in the wild. When you see a bear in the wild, you're like, oh, you are you don't give a f about me. You're some weird, heartless beast that is majestic looking, yeah. who runs around eating moose and deer babies. Bears. In the media, the overall perception of bears seems to be a wee bit disillusioned. The whole narrative on wildlife as a whole is dangerous. I think Jorgen says it best here. Like, a couple people get mauled, mm. you know, people start walking through Yellowstone and get attacked. It happens, like, a little bit more rapidly. The numbers get to a certain... Like, they're like these things have no fear of people. Like, we can actually help the population if they hand out bear tags and people start freaking out. You can't kill the bears. You can't kill the bears. Don't you kill the bear. Yeah. There's a reason why there's no f***ing bears in California, Duncan. Only black bears. Our f***ing state flag has a grizzly bear on it. Did you ever notice that? No. Yeah. The state flag is a grizzly bear. They eradicated all the grizzly bears because oh, they shit. were eating people. What I really find fascinating is the lengths people will go just to learn their lesson. In Yellowstone's Wapiti Lake Trail, about a mile and a half in, where a couple came face to face with a grizzly bear. The wife told officials she and her 57-year-old husband saw a bear with cubs from a distance, but they continued walking. When they saw the bear a second time, it was already charging them, attacking and killing the husband. I live pretty close to Yellowstone, and it's not uncommon to hear about a bison goring a tourist or a grizzly bear mauling a hiker. I know what some of you are thinking. But film nerd, when I go up into the mountains, I always bring a can of bear spray with me, so I'm fine. But you know what? Good on you for being prepared for a bear attack. Unfortunately, the chances of you using bear spray on a bear is quite slim. In a case where you actually see the grizzly right in front of you, and you have enough time to whip out your spray, it'll already be too late. I'm not saying bear spray is useless, because it's not, but nature is usually not that fair. Here's an example that happened in the state of the northwest of Wyoming. Four hikers who were college wrestling teammates decided to take the Saturday off and go hiking around the Heart Mountain area. They decided to split up to cover more ground to look for antlers. Mind you, they all had bear spray, and most of them were armed. As two of the hikers were walking, a grizzly bear came out of nowhere and started mauling one of the hikers. The other, in a panic and full of adrenaline, jumps on top of the bear in an attempt to save his friend. It works. The bear begins to maul the other hiker. While both men made it off the mountain okay, they still suffered a lot from their injuries. But in this instance, the bear does not give a shit about you at all. Not even a little bit. It doesn't care whatsoever about your little adventure into the mountains. The worst part of it all is that people will say that those hikers deserve to be mauled by that grizzly bear. There's this notion and gaslighting that if you get mauled by a grizzly bear, it's your fault. Those two hikers had no warning about the incoming grizzly. Grizzly bears are ruthless animals that don't give a f I don't get how we're just okay with monsters roaming around us. I think a lot of the blame has to go towards modern society and how sheltered we've become. Disney, I think, is one of the biggest culprits when it comes to why our perception of grizzly bears is the way it is. Now, Brother Bear is a fantastic movie, and it was genuinely one of my favorite movies growing up. But the movie gives this weird look to bears that they're these gentle creatures who just like to sit around and eat fish. And it's just not true. We look at grizzly bears and we think, oh, it's just Yogi. Hi, Yogi. A polar bear and we think, oh, it's the Coke bear. Such a sweetheart. No, they are not nice. These are animals, not gentle creatures. These animals can take down a moose with one swipe. Does that sound like a gentle creature? No? Didn't think so. The movie that gives us a great insight to the true nature of bears is the Revenant. In this scene, we can see Glass just going about with his musket at the ready when he sees two cubs. Just know that if you're ever in a situation like this, you are f***ed. 
There's no escaping this. Sometimes the mama bear will run away from you with her cubs. People mistake this as a good thing because they think they've scared her off. No, not even a little bit. You see, what's actually happening here is that she's just getting her cubs away from you. And that when she feels she's gotten enough safe distance with her cubs, she's coming right back for you. Anyways, that's not the case in The Revenant. Glass is instead caught between the cubs and mama, which obviously results in Glass getting absolutely destroyed by the bear. The depictions of the actual mauling itself are really good. The way the sow uses her claws to almost fillet glass is exactly what a grizzly bear will do. The best thing they say to do is curl up in a ball and wait it out. So what happens when, what are you supposed to do when a grizzly? Just pray? Well, if it's a female grizzly, you are literally better off letting her f you up. Right. You just curl up in a ball, you're supposed to put your hand behind your neck, lay in a fetal position, and don't let her get access to your organs. Which is probably really good advice. I mean, I don't know, I've never been mauled by a grizzly bear. I think if Glass would have done that, he probably would have had less injuries. Another thing that happens in this scene that is shown really well, Glass actually gets mauled twice. This actually happens in real life too. People will get mauled and the biggest mistake they make is get up too fast. But not the getting up too fast and now you're about to fall over type of too fast. It's the getting up too fast and the bear thinks you still want more. This isn't a boxing match. You are not Rocky Balboa. Going the distance with the grizzly bear is not a good idea. Whenever you do, do not try to go the distance. This ends up with Glass getting more than he bargained for, with the second mauling. The only thing that I don't think is realistic is him killing the bear with a knife. You could make the argument that he stabbed her in the area where she was shot, and yeah, I mean, maybe, but those type of guns back in the day didn't have a high velocity rate. But other than that, this scene should get an Oscar. Remember people, bears are not to be messed with. Do not go up to them, and please, do not try to take a selfie with them. If you go hiking into the mountains and you know that bears are prevalent in that area, please be careful. The best way that I've found to be the best bear repellent is to not go hiking and frolic in nature like I'm a Disney princess. But if after hearing this, you still want to go into the mountains and frolic, then kudos to you. You have bigger balls than I, and I wish you the best. And this doesn't just go for bears. It goes for all wildlife. Remember that when you go out into nature, you become part of the food chain. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today. Remember to stay safe, follow God, and until next time, peace out, nerds.